Today we're gonna make this mesh text effect in Illustrator that looks like a flag. Step one, I gotta go to the stroke, select the color, I'm gonna go with black, select the line, and I gotta make a line. Let's go to the effects, distort and transform, zigzag. I'm gonna decrease the ridges per segment to two. I gotta make it smooth, and I'm gonna increase the size eventually. Click OK, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And I gotta press and hold Alt, create a new copy, and I gotta place it something like this. Select both, press Shift plus M, or you can go to select the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt, and I gotta delete these endings. There we go. I gotta select Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points at the ending, and click on Join. And I gotta do the same thing with the left one. And I gotta press and hold out, drag it, create a new copy, and I gotta put it somewhere here. And now I gotta select the type tool, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up, right click on the text, create outline, and we're gonna need to put the text in the back. So I gotta right click, arrange, send to back, and I also gotta right click on group, and I gotta group the panther separately. I gotta select them, press control G to group them. Vision separately, Control G to group, group them. All right, and I'm gonna rotate this, some like this, and I'm gonna select these two guys, go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. Boom. Now this one work in all the cases. I needed to rotate it like this to look more horizontal. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the vision. Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. And it looks a little bit wavy, a little bit inconsistent, but uh, this is what it does. And now I gotta expand it, go to Object, Expand, click OK, right click, Group, and I'm also gonna rotate it back, press and hold Alt, drag it, right click, Arrange, Send it back, press and hold Shift plus Alt, Good, select the color for it. I gotta go with a dark one, and the top one is gonna be a light color. And I also gotta press and hold Alt, drag it here, and I'm gonna recolor it again. And I'm gonna select these two guys, go to Object, Blend, Make, double click on the Blend tool, select Specify Steps. I'm gonna type in 500, click OK. And now it made it in perspective, and I'm gonna select the top one and position it. I think it looks even better like this. You can also switch it up to a gradient to look even more realistic. And I'm gonna go with the colors here. There you go. And this is how you make this wavy blend in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. <laughs>